In this animation, we are going to explain the instrumentation and working of pH meter, including calibration. pH meter is an electronic device used for measuring pH of any solution. Let us look at some of its important components. It consists of a probe, typically a 3-in-1 combination electrode, that has a hydrogen ion sensitive glass electrode, a reference electrode and a temperature probe to ensure any temperature variation is corrected automatically. At the tip of the probe is a sensitive glass bulb that detects the acidity or basicity of the solution. At the other end of the probe is a high input electronic meter that measures and displays the pH. There is also a flexible arm for easy motion of the electrodes in and out of the solutions. When pH meter is not in use, the electrode is submerged into 3 molar potassium chloride solution to prevent it from drying. Long direct contact with the environment and drying of the glass membrane may permanently damage the electrode. Let us now understand the working of a pH meter. Turn on the pH meter and allow adequate time for it to initialize. Remove the electrode from the storage solution gently like this. Clean the electrode by rinsing it with deionized water under an empty waste beaker. Once rinsed, very gently blot dry with non-abrasive Kim wipes or Sher wipes to remove the excess water. Do not rub the electrode as it can damage the sensitive membrane around it. Before we can take any sample measurements, we must first calibrate the pH meter. Take three color-coded standard buffer solutions of pH 7, 4.01 and 9.21 for calibration. The first buffer used for calibration is always the neutral buffer with a pH of 7. The second should always be near the expected sample pH, either a pH of 4.01 or 9.21. Buffers with a higher pH, 9.21, are best for measuring bases, whereas buffers with a low pH, 4.01, are best for measuring acidic samples. Now, let us understand the steps you must take for calibration of your pH meter. Press calibrate and place the electrodes in the buffer solution with a pH value of 7 like this. Allow the pH reading to stabilize at 7 if required. pH is dependent on the concentration of H plus ions. If concentration of H plus ions inside the glass membrane electrode and solution or buffer solution present outside the electrode is the same, the pH equals 7, like this. Once the standard with pH 7 is calibrated, rinse the electrode with distilled water and blot dry with Kim wipes. In the next step, if expected pH of the sample is acidic, then select the buffer solution of pH 4.01. Place the electrodes in the buffer with a pH value of 4.01 and press the calibrate button like this. Allow the pH reading to stabilize at 4.01 if required. If concentration of H plus ions inside the glass membrane electrode is lower, as compared to the solution or buffer solution present outside the electrode, then pH will be less than 7 like this. Once the standard with pH 4.01 is also calibrated, rinse the electrode with distilled water and blot dry with Kim wipes in a similar manner. You may skip the previous step if the expected pH of the sample is on alkaline side and follow this step by using the buffer solution of pH 9.21. Place the electrodes in the buffer with a pH value of 9.21 and press the calibrate button like this. Allow the pH reading to stabilize at 9.21 if required. Sometimes pH 10 buffer solution is also used for the same. If concentration of H plus ions inside the glass membrane electrode is higher as compared to the solution or buffer solution present outside the electrode, that pH displayed is more than 7 like this. Repeat the rinse process just like previous steps. Now pH meter is calibrated 
and ready to determine the pH of the test sample. Place the electrodes in the given sample and then press the measure button. Leave the electrodes in your sample until the reading has stabilized. This will be the exact pH value of your sample. Take the electrodes out, rinse it with distilled water and blot dry with Kim wipes. Immerse the probe in 3 molar potassium chloride solution for storage like this. Consult your operation manual for optimal storage practices for your specific pH meter. I hope you clearly understand the detailed concept about this pH meter. I would like to say thanks to my knowledge sharing partners KIET Group of Institutions and Cranbridge.com for the collaboration. I request various relevant pharma companies and instrumentation companies to collaborate with us for making this kind of animations so it will be highly beneficial for all and it will be better than high investment on advertisements for any youtube channel production work and the budget will be very high for this kind of animations so i personally request you all to share this video as much as you can as you have seen we have done a lot of hard work to make this animation possible if you are a teacher then you can use this animation to explain ph meter for non-commercial purpose if you want to use this animation for any commercial purpose for that you have to take written permission and the email id is displayed here so you can contact through that mail id i would like to say thanks to my team members who are involved for production of this animation thank you so much